Uh, today's movie review is about Manjumel Boys. This movie is based on a true incident from 2006. This is a Malayalam survival thriller that follows a group of friends from a small town uh, called Manjumel, hence the name of the movie. This group of friends just decides to take a seemingly innocent trip to Kodai Canal, which is a village in a neighboring state. This trip takes an unexpected turn that will change their lives forever. Now, I know what you might be thinking, is this another road trip movie? And the answer is no, hold on to your popcorn, this isn't your average flick. Manjumel Boy starts off, uh, I would say slow, I think it, at the beginning I was sort of like wondering like what is this movie about? It was lulling me into a false sense of uh, boredom, security, I don't know how to express it. But don't let this fool you, because you're in for an experience that will at some point keep you on the edge of your seat. What I find truly remarkable about this film is how it manages to maintain the tension throughout the entire film, even when you know the general premise, because probably you have heard about the story and the movie's been out for quite a while, so you probably know what it is about, right? I think it's like watching a tightrope walker the, you know, this person is supposed to either make it across or just fall, but, but you can't help holding your breath with every step the, he, the type of walker takes. I think this movie beautiful showcases the unity within this group of friends. The reactions feel true, and you can't help but be moved by how much they care for this lost companion. There are some cleverly paced uh, flashbacks during the movie that offer glimpses into how their friendship came to be, and I think it adds depth to their bond without interrupting the main narrative. One thing I absolutely love about Manjumel Boys is how it respects its tone. There are no over-the-top dance numbers or unrealistic action sequences, despite there being some um, reason for like uh, action sequences in the movie. But the, instead, the film opts for a more grounded, more serious, sober approach. It makes the whole experience feel mm, somewhat relatable, like you could be there in the same situation. On this note, the movie subtly touches on two important issues that I think are a bit overlooked uh, because of the seriousness of the, uh, of the movie, the main topic. The main issue I think it showcases is the reckless behavior of some tourists who disregard laws and rules, and even the advice of locals, and in the process they put themselves at risk. This is our group of friends that just basically ignores advices, right? Or advice. And the second important issue is the frustrating apathy and even hostility from authorities during the crisis, during this crisis or during different crises. You can't help but feel frustrated at how some of the suspect, um, or sorry, not the suspect, but whoever is supposed to be an authority reacts throughout the movie. It's just annoying, frustrating, but again, it just makes it feel more, all more relatable. I think this is a sobering reminder of how real life is in times of crisis. Um, the movie, despite having a relatively large uh, cast, because I mean it's a group of friends, it just never feels overwhelming, because not every character is fully developed because they don't need to. Some of them just serve the purpose of just supporting the main plot, the main cast, and they just add very well to the atmosphere. And speaking of atmosphere, let me talk about the music. Oh my god, the score is nothing short of phenomenal in my opinion. It just perfectly complements the visuals, enhancing every emotion and amplifying the tension that you feel at some points in the movie. I know it might be too late to catch it in theaters, but if you can, please do yourself a favor and watch it with the best sound system you can find. Trust me, it is worth it. And without spoiling anything, I'll say this. The ending is a perfect balance. It is not a complete tragedy by any means, but it's not a fairy tale happy ending either. It's just like real life, you know? It's somewhere in between. And I think that's what makes it so impactful. 
In conclusion, I think Manjumal voice absolutely lives up to the hype surrounding it. It might no longer be in theaters, but I highly recommend clearing your schedule and creating the best possible viewing environment at home or wherever whoev you want to watch it. Again, trust me, you won't regret it. In the end, I'm just thrilled that this film is getting the recognition it deserves. As of now, it stands as the highest grossing Malayalam film of all time. And I can confidently say that it's one of the best movies I've watched in my recent memory. So there you have it, folks. It, Man, Manjumel Voice is a really, really good movie. I highly recommend you watch it. Um, but tell me, have you watched it? You probably have, right? Some people recommended me already to watch this movie. So um, just let me know in the comments what you think of the movie. And again, if you w would like to recommend me another one so that I can do a review, um, again, just use the comments. I hope you liked this review. If you liked it, just give it a like. Share it with some of your friends or your colleagues or whatever. And I'll see you in the next one.